We're gonna jump right in, get started with warming up our neck. Let's go up and down for 10. Let's go side to side. Let's go for circles. Other direction. All right, let's go ahead and do some twist. Try to keep your hips facing forward as much as possible. Really trying to warm up the thoracic spine. You really feel this twist in your mid back. All right, let's roll the shoulders backwards. Nice big circles, have the core embraced, let's go forward, alright just shake out the wrist just a little bit, and let's do wrist circles. While you're here, try to keep the arms straight. We're gonna go in some articulations of the ankle. Real quick here, just circle it in one direction. And then we'll switch to the other foot, same thing here. Now we're just doing kickbacks. Just starting to get a little articulation through the knees. We'll continue to address this a little bit later. Let's go for hip circles. One direction. And let's go the other direction. Shake it out again. Let's go for toe raises. Just warming up the ankles, calves, a little jog in place, light on the toes, and let's start with just a little small air squat. Don't have to go deep into a cocodinha. All right, let's go kickbacks again. This time we're gonna go circles. Take note, just going inside out. Now, outside again. It's okay if those were hard to coordinate. Just go ahead and walk around. All 
All right, this one for the hips. We're gonna get ready to go into some hip circles, a few joliadas, just some knee raises to get into the hips. Pay attention to the standing leg. Switch to the other side. Try to get the knee up as high as possible. Keep the back nice and flat. Don't punch down towards the knee. Let's go circles inside out. Really focus on keeping your balance here while opening up and getting the knee as high as possible. Inside out, let's go for the other side. Keep your toes spread. Balancing through that foot, really ground through that foot. Now let's go outside in circles. Same thing applies here. Notice you can use your arms as a little bit of a counterbalance. Also just to prep you for using them as a counterbalance to your kicks. The other side. Try to keep your balance. All right, let's go for some arm swings. Really getting into the shoulders now. Try to keep the arms as straight as possible to go back. And then let's go forward. For a nice squat, we're gonna fold this. Little small pulses as you get a little bit lower, just settle in. Here for about 20 seconds. And let's come back out. Just shape and reset. We're gonna do this again. Glad you know. There we go. Nice. Start to get a little bit lower. And shake it out. Start in a junior position with the right leg back or one of your legs back. And we'll start those joliadas. Drive the knee up. Keep the spine nice and long. Let's go to the other side. When you're doing this, make sure that you're keeping the core, the core braced. Add a little bit of explosion if you're feeling a little warm now. The knee going up, all the way back down to your Jenga position. Now same thing from Jenga, not static anymore. Pretend. We're gonna continue here. Getting 10 on each side.
really drive the knee up towards the chest. Don't bring the chest down towards the knee. There's a tendency to do that a lot, especially if mobility and flexibility are lacking. Go ahead and shake it out. Grab some water if you need. What we're doing today is just staying in a limited space, uh, just working with what we, what room we may have, considering the circumstances most of us are in right now. Let's take a five-step open here, hill toe, hill toe. Kind of shift the weight from side to side. Start to incorporate the arms. Going, going into our esquiva or the face of voice. Shifting the hips from side to side. Go ahead and shake it out. We're gonna go back into our jingle position. We're just gonna test the water. Notice that there's not weight in that leg. I'm not committing as I take a step there. So let's go ahead and go for 10. With this one, make sure you're shifting the arm. The coordination is just gonna be important for the pattern that we integrate this into a little bit later on. Let's go for the other side. So now we're going to do this from Jenga, step, Jenga to the other side, step. I remember doing this a lot uh, as a Coloto, as a green belt with Mesh Accordion. Uh, he used to reference to this as a wedgie, like a door wedge, not the other kind of wedgie. done this so many times. Can't remember how many countless countless. Go ahead and shake it out. So we're gonna set up here for uh, Melo de Gimpazo, just the finta. We're just going into the entrada, actually, of the Melo de Gimpazo. Uh, so we're just setting up from the cadera or just from on the line. We're gonna go into entrada and then shift the weight. And we're just gonna stay on this side for 10. Placing the hands, looking, getting a nice stretch on the leg that's in the back, and also getting a nice twist down. We'll come back just to central entrada and start on the side. Just your entrances for the Melodic Basel. or otherwise a FIFA, if you were actually using this. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. After we shake out, go ahead and walk around. 
We're gonna do the same thing from the Jenga position or from the Jenga, not from the stationary position. Let's go ahead and start your Jenga. And we'll start our entrada, pinta na mesa de compasso. Come back to the line, and the other side. Make sure you're breathing, and we're going for 10. You may tend to move forward a little bit on these. Just taking out of your space. Go ahead and shake it out. Just using a bowl, grab water if you need it. If you don't, just keep going. All right, let's warm up our knees a little bit. Let's go to Cocorinha Bay. We're also warming up the balls of the feet. So we're driving the knees down. I don't want them to go all the way down to the floor right now. If you have the flexibility and mobility and you feel warm and you want to, then go ahead and feel free. But that's definitely not required. Just entering into this a little bit slowly and just a few rocks back and forth. Try and keep your balance more just to open up the toes and also see how the knees feel under compression. If you need to use your hands, use them any kind of way that you need. In front of you, to the side of you, and back of you. Otherwise, just keep your balance and rock back and forth. And let's shake it out. It's warming us up a little bit for our negativa position and later on the negativa movement that we will do. So let's come back down into the cocode and pe. We're gonna use the full hand on the ground. We're gonna extend out to the negativa position to one side. Just open up about 45 degrees on the other side. Have the side of the foot be on the floor. Toes are active, foot's flexed. And we're just going back and forth. Go ahead and shake it out. Grab some water if you need it. All right, so go ahead and get into your Jenga position. And let's go for Jenga. We're gonna start with our Binso, Steve it to the side. We're just gonna start to incorporate the things that we did. So Binso. Steve it to the side. As you're doing this, Steve will pull through, make sure that you never lose sight of your opponent, the person that you're playing with.
go ahead and shake it out. Bowl. Alright, so we're going to start Jenga again. Benso, Skiva, add in the Finta na Melo de Campazo for the entrance. Other side, Mesma Coisa, same thing. And again, we're here for 10. Skiva, Finta. Keep it going. Go ahead and check it out. So now we're incorporating the negativa. Same thing, we're going to start with the pin cell from the back, skiva, pinta na melua, and we're just going to stay there, go into our negativa, come back on the line. Okay, so that's how we set it up. Go ahead and get ready. We're going to go for 10 here as well. Let's get working. Negativa. Back to the line. Feet. Negativa. Half of the leg. Back to the line, Jing. We're here for ten. Keep it going. This is how we get better. Repetition. Jenga to shake it out. Really nice bowl. Using that as our rest for today.
tomar água. So we're gonna add an advanced piece to this. If you felt like if you felt like that was already difficult, go ahead and stay with this variation that we were just doing. Otherwise, we're gonna add a costura onto the end of this little sequence that we have going on right now. So again, we'll start with Jenga, Benso, Finta, Mimus, and Pazzo, and Negachiba directly into a costura. The other direction, we come back around. The other side, Finta, Costura, the other side. And let's go for it. Nice little slide out. See if you can not have a hesitation as you come out of the negativa directly and continue to slide it. You can start to play with the variation here. Maybe go with one hand up instead of both hands on the ground as you go into the costura or the uh, negativa. One hand comes up. But ultimately, this is up for you to explore, kind of fill this out for yourself. Try to see if you can keep uh, the head close to the ground. As a different variation as well as you're going around. Let's get these in, going for 10. Don't quit, keep going. And shake it out. You end it with a nice Jenga. Vault. It's nice work. A nice session just to give you a quick sweat and really get some repetition in on these fundamental movements. Let's go ahead and just shake it out. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale it down. Inhale, lift the arms, exhale. Take another one, nice deep inhale, exhale it down. And on this one, as you exhale, go ahead and forward fold. Let your spine be nice and long. If you can, go ahead and lock out the knees. Allow the hamstrings to take this or calves, anything in the posterior chain, if that's you. Draw some figure eights, just a little rocking back and forth. Take a nice deep inhale, stay in this forward fold, and as you exhale, just go ahead and release down further. You can experiment with grabbing the back of the legs, pulling yourself down a little bit further. But whatever you're doing here, you're thinking about compression and not necessarily rounding the back. You want to keep your spine nice and long, and imagine that you're Pulling your chest towards the floor. Um, your sternum is going down towards the floor. Go ahead and slowly roll it back up. Take a nice deep inhale, lift the arms, exhale. And we'll just go for a little bit of a straddle, not really middle split per se here, but just allow yourself to just kind of sink in. 
We're not going to hold it. We're just going to be here just for a moment. And we're going to walk back on the hands to a seated position in that straddle. And we'll just stay here. Go ahead and try to square up to one side, rotate, square up to the other side, rotate. And just two back and forths here or so, just to activate the body and let it know that we're about to be in these positions. So we're squaring up, and what I'm saying here is again the same thing. Don't think about trying to pull the head and the chest down towards the thigh, but think about trying to pull everything towards your toe and extend past your toe. Spine stays nice and long. Use whatever you need or would like to. You can make this be as intense or as soft as you like. And definitely feel free to stay here, stay on each of these sides uh, for longer than what I'm doing here. This is just to give uh, some guidelines and just to encourage a little bit of resetting with this passive stretching. Uh, personal thought, I do not feel like this is the place where that we build mobility and flexibility, but this is just a really nice reset uh, after doing all of the work. And it's a nice way to kind of uh, relax the body after the intensity of that, that workout. Thank you for joining me today. Muito obrigado. Look forward to the next session. Ashe.